hello dear friends welcome again to our channel and today in this video we are going to achieve something similar to google search bar with the help of z search plugin by crocoblog and if you are new to our channel and find our videos helpful please consider subscribing our channel and give us a thumbs up for this video so let's get started so what i mean by saying similar to google search bar is uh, uh, let me actually show you by doing it so here we are on google homepage, and we already know how google search work right Basically, we type a keyword in Google search bar and it redirects us to search result page. But what basically I want to address it here is that in this page, the search bar is already pre-filled with the value. And the value is the keyword we searched for, right? So how it is happening? A simple piece of JavaScript code is doing the magic here. So let's see how can we achieve the same thing with the help of JavaScript within the Jet Search plugin. In Developer Dashboard, I have created two pages, a home page and a search result page. Let me show you the home page. The home page contains jet search widget and a simple logo. In front end, the page look like this. Now let's search a keyword. Let's say crocoblog and hit enter. Here we are in the search result page. And if you can see, the search bar is not pre-filled with the keyword. But this is what happens by default, right? So now try to achieve something like Google search bar. So we will be using JavaScript to create similar functionality like Google search bar. And to insert the code, I'm using WP code box. And here I have to create a JavaScript file. Let's name it search bar. File type JavaScript. Where to run the script front end. And let's paste our code. So this is a very simple piece of jQuery code. Now let's enable it. But before I enable it, let's try to understand this code. So basically we are grabbing the query parameter value from the current URL and store it in a variable and then set the value of the search bar to the query parameter value. So for better understanding, let's see the URL structure of the search result page. So here we are in the search result page and if you look at the URL, so here uh, this letter S is the query parameter and this is the value. So what we are doing is we are grabbing this value crocoblock and we are putting in this search bar so it is that simple right so let's now enable the code let's enable it and now let's do a search again let's say chat engine as you can see our search bar is pre-filled with the keyword already so this is how it works thank you for watching this video guys see you next time